something big. To begin with, nobody expected them to be in a world championship so early. So the slight case of nerves is well understood. Christy Yamaguchi and Rudy Galindo got here by stunning the crowd and the judges at the U.S. Nationals in Baltimore with a program that even the veterans would cherish. When it was over, they were the National Paris champions. But when they got back to Fremont, California, the reality is that any way you look at it, there's still a couple of teenagers. Yes, 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 you are. No, you're not. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's not going. Oh my God, because... Are you jealous, Rudy? No. Yeah, Rudy. No, it's just that. It's the best country in the world. Oh, my God, Rudy! And so they came to Paris, and in the original program, didn't reinvent the sport or anything like that. But they skated well and got their first world jitters out of their systems. They came in sick. In fact, you might say they were just happy to be here. The pair that was relieved to be here was the Siebel, Natalie and Wayne, who, during the Nationals, had things like this happen to them. Still, their marks were generously high. The judging gods were with them, and they regrouped and came to Paris. Their mission here was to vindicate themselves and prove themselves worthy of the invitation. And they skated well in the original program. They tied Yamaguchi and Galindo, but when it came down to it, they didn't like their marks. Five, two, five, four, five, 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 three, five, three, five. The judging three, gods five, didn't make two, this trip, five, one, and neither did the memories five, of Baltimore. Thank you. No, I don't think we were looking back on it at all. I think that uh, we made a a point when we came here to to you know just go out and sh prove that we should have been here you know that we should be here and everything else so I feel that uh, there were mistakes made uh, not on our part at Nationals but on some of the other uh, people's part and uh, we just took a, the blunt of that responsibility but uh, we did a, what we could do and we're here and we're gonna do what we can do here another Paris team who came here to do what they could do was Gordeva and Brinkoff from the Soviet Union They've had their problems as well. Injuries have kept them out of competition for a year. When we saw them practicing in Moscow. It didn't look promising. Another Soviet team, the European champions, didn't make the trip at all. She is suffering from hepatitis. But Gordeva and Grinkos' return to the ice was pure and simple, a huge success. By winning the original program, the former World and Olympic champions were the dominant Paris team once again. Yamaguchi and Galindo were not a threat this time around, but the Soviets realized there's a Star Wars to come. I still am afraid of the pair Yamaguchi Galindo. I saw them two years ago, and I thought, I told to my pupils, to Mishko Tiona Dmitriev, watch this couple, they will progress very soon, and they will be your uh, rival. There's another story you should know about Yamaguchi and Galindo. Their coach, Jim Hulick, has cancer and is dying. It's been the weight they've all had to carry on the road to success. He's encouraged us a lot to go on with our skating and, you know, keep training hard. You know, trying to help each other through everything. Well, it's kind of hard to separate it. Sometimes you just want to go out there and skate for him. We know what he's going through, and so we just try our best. I've tried to put that way behind because I want, I want to do the best for the kids. They've got such a great career to go with. And I put my medical problems behind me and really concentrated on the kids. Well, the kids, Christy and Rudy, are concentrating too. Their minds very much on their program and on their coach.
CBS Sports Saturday is...